the regular practice of the Prophet Muhammad, but not even just during the month of Ramadan. He would fast on Mondays and Thursdays, and this is actually similar to the intermittent fasting practice. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. It's your girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it with your friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe on this channel. We post um, reaction videos, and you guys can feel free to suggest something, and we'll actually do it for you guys. Other than reaction videos, we also have a second YouTube channel called Fanny and Jesse 2.0, and you can head there and just check out the content that's there. Um, you can find us on Facebook as Funny and Jesse. You can find us on Instagram as Funny and Jesse, and there's other things that we also do. You can, uh, we've got a podcast. You can find us on iTunes, Spotify, and YouTube. Uh, diving in with Funny and Jesse, and we've got some very very interesting conversations that are up there, which you guys can um enjoy we've also got a patreon you guys can feel free to become members and for everything that i've mentioned you can find everything every link to everything that i mentioned what am i saying in the description box i hope you guys are doing all right and a big shout out to the people that have been commenting telling us where they're from where they're from pakistan palestine um um I'm trying to think of other countries, but there, there's a lot of country, there's a lot of places that we get. Thank you for telling us where you're from. Thank you for interacting with us. Thank you for subscribing. Um, thank you for sticking with us uh, thus far. You guys are the best. Thank you very much. Big shout out to the person that suggested this. And today, as you can tell from the title, I'll be reacting to 10 Surprising Habits of Prophet Muhammad. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. Generally speaking, Muslims believe that the Prophet Muhammad was the final true prophet of God and they look to his life and practices and habits as an example of living life optimally. Many of these habits are found in the Hadith, which are the written traditions of the Prophet Muhammad. Welcome back guys to FTD Facts. My name is Leroy Kenton and over time I've been seeing a lot more comments and requests for us to do even more videos about the Prophet Muhammad. So we decided to do this episode. Here are 10 surprising habits of the Prophet Muhammad that Muslims hold in high regard and get benefits from. And guys, just a heads up, somebody decided to do construction outside. So you might hear some construction noises in the background and some beeping and some banging and all of that. I'll do my best to try to get them edited out in the episode, but just give me the heads up in case you're wondering, what's that noise? All right, but let's just jump into this episode. Starting at number 10, the Prophet Muhammad ate less. The Prophet Muhammad used to eat less to really prevent diseases and sickness and over time, science has really shown that eating in smaller portions actually helps to fight many different diseases. Now in the Hadith it says, the son of Adam does not fill any vessel worse than his stomach. It is sufficient for the son of Adam to eat a few morsels to keep him alive. If he must fill it, then one third for his food, and one third for his drink, and one third for air. The next habit at number nine that the Prophet Muhammad used to have is he used to drink water slowly. Today, science does claim that drinking water at once can cause things like headaches and dizziness as well as imbalance in the blood electrolytes among many other things. So drinking water slowly actually helps you absorb the fluid and get the most benefit out of the water. In the Hadith, there is a passage that says, do not drink in one gulp like a camel, but in two or three gulps. Mention the name of Allah when you start drinking and praise him after you have finished drinking. Staying fit is the habit at number eight. So according to Muslim beliefs, three out of the five pillars of Islam actually keep humans fit. There's a prayer, which it can also be seen as a form of exercise, actually. And of course, now science does tell us that exercise keeps the heart and brain healthy. It helps your blood circulate. And the Prophet Muhammad even encouraged physical exercise. Another statement from the Hadith says, teach your children swimming, archery, and horse riding. And in another passage, he says, practice archery and horseback riding. Of course, all of those are physical activities. Prophet Muhammad also had a habit of waking up 
early. So he used to start his day by waking up super early for the Fajr prayer. Now waking up early is linked scientifically to being more productive, as well as there's links to better mental health in general, even if it's 15 minutes earlier that you're waking up. So we talked about eating less, but Prophet Muhammad had a habit of also eating slowly and it's something that he promoted. Now we know it takes about 10 to 20 minutes for the body to register that you are full. So eating slowly actually helps you eat less food and also improves your digestion. Just like that, we reach halfway in this episode, guys. If you're enjoying it so far, be sure to leave a like on this episode. And of course, leaving thumbs ups really helps more people see our videos. Also, if this is your first time here to FTD Facts, we post daily videos like this, where we talk about religions, countries, cultures, and people. So if any of those topics interest you, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. That way you'll be notified of our daily episodes. Stick around, stay a while guys, and tune in every single day to learn something new. All right, so let's jump into the last five habits of the Prophet Muhammad. At number five, we have the habit of fasting. So fasting was a regular practice of the Prophet Muhammad, but not even just during the month of Ramadan. He would fast on Mondays and Thursdays, and this is actually similar to the intermittent fasting practice that's become a lot more popular now over the years. And this practice really does balance hormone levels as well as reduce overall inflammation. In the Hadith, it says that the Messenger of Allah was keen to fast on Mondays and Thursdays. But it's not just starving yourself for the sake of starving yourself. There are ways that you can fast, as well as if you do have some underlying conditions, medical professionals don't recommend fasting. But if done right, yes, there are quite a bit of benefits in fasting. Pomegranates comes in at number four. Now the Prophet Muhammad really liked pomegranates and really now research has shown that pomegranates are one of the healthiest foods in the entire world. They're also very high in flavonoids as well as polyphenols, which are antioxidants that really help prevent heart disease. One passage in the Hadith says, pomegranate and its rind strengthen digestion. But it's not just pomegranates that have benefits, eating dates also has benefits as well. So dates are very good foods to break your fast. If you're a Muslim that's fasting because they help to stabilize your blood sugar levels as well as rebalance your blood electrolyte levels and also help jumpstart your digestive system to prepare to have more foods as you continue to eat over the day if you're fasting. Now, one thing I didn't know about dates is that they actually boost your oxytocin production in your body and they can also help to speed up labor. The Hadith says Allah's messenger used to break his fast with fresh dates before going to pray. Now, another surprising habit of the Prophet Muhammad was that he ate together. The Hadith says eat together and not separately for the blessing is associated with the company. Apparently, sharing food and enjoying food with other people has proven to reduce stress as well as improve family and romantic relationships. And this is something that the Prophet Muhammad used to practice himself. Not saying that you can't eat alone. There's sometimes people just aren't around or you just wanna eat by yourself. But eating together with others does have its benefits. And the final surprising habit was he avoided sleeping on his stomach. Of course, due to the weight of the spine, adults and even babies are told not to sleep on their stomachs by many doctors because this kind of sleeping can actually have negative effects on internal organs as well as your spine. Now in the Hadith, there's a passage that says, the messenger of Allah came out in the night to check up on his guests and saw me lying on my stomach. He prodded me with his foot and said, do not lie in this manner for it is a way of lying that Allah hates. All right guys, so just like that, those were 10 surprising habits of the Prophet Muhammad that Muslims really hold in high regard. A lot of them have applied them in their life and really have starting to see benefits, but even not just Muslims, people in general. But definitely let me know your thoughts and comments down below and also let me know what are some habits that you have that you've implemented whether they're habits that you've seen the prophet muhammad do or other prophets that you may believe in or just people in general things that you've incorporated in your life one thing to get a lot more physical activity in my day is that since we're in self-isolation i just started just doing push-ups 
Just, just, just random push-ups. Uh, do like 50 a day, just at random times, not all at once. So, but like throughout the day, probably totals up to about 50 or so. I don't know. Or sometimes I'm just cooking in the kitchen and I just start dancing, you know, just to keep a little active. That's just a little bit of what I do. I love to hear what you do also down below. Now, if you want to follow me on social media, my links are below in the video description section. Also, I'll leave you with a recommended episode at the end screen. So give that a tap once my face is out of here and I'll see you guys next time. I really like the content that this FTD Facts channel um, posts. They really have some very good content and a big shout out to the person that suggested we react to this. Um, all these habits are habits that we now are being advised to look into. That we should make a, a part of our daily lives because they have many many beneficial factors to them otherwise i enjoyed watching this video did you enjoy watching this if you've got thoughts on this if there's any habits that you have i'm trying to think what habit do i have i know for sure that i'm probably dancing when i'm in the kitchen that's one thing i like to dance other thing that's the only thing that keeps me healthy and I don't know for now that's what i can say otherwise i eating slow i eat very slow sometimes i'm not being rushed but i do eat very very slow there's many things that i actually do from this list otherwise let us know what you guys do and we'll be very happy to read whatever habits you apply to your life otherwise let us know what you think and make sure to give this video a thumbs up share it with your friends and of course don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you next time